It was our last day in Africa. We packed our bags in preparation for our flight back to the United States. Then we boarded the van and headed to where more than 300 youth and youth leaders were prepared to show off their no gogi skills. During our week in Accra, the leadership training had been successfully completed. And now the newly certified gogi leaders were ready to show off their learning with the talent show. And we were ready. As the room was being prepared and as the gogi coaches and the dignitaries were taking their seats, I wondered, as I usually do, you know, as a coach, sometimes I wonder if our training and the simplicity of the Gogi Life Tools, you know, carries forward into their daily life after we are wheels up and off to our next training. As you might expect, each of the small groups poured their heart and soul into their skits. With many of the groups having memorized the Gogi Tools, the Pledge of Service, and other unique aspects of their training, in all cases, the skit showed the broad understanding they experienced about the applicability of the Gogi tools and just how simple they are to help create the best results, even in the most difficult situations. During the talent show, each group explored real life situations of gossip, control, violence, anger, jealousy, rage, and just about every other emotion shared by cultures across our globe. We all know human suffering is universal, but equally as obvious that day was the fact that armed with their Gogi tools, they now had the ability to create the optimal outcome. Watching and ultimately selecting a winner of the talent show, well, it reminded me of the consistent beauty I continue to witness. There's a remarkable elegance when the human being explores their ability to grow learn and evolve, making even more positive decisions than the decisions of yesterday. It's inspiring to see those who could not dream of a better life suddenly realize that they, and only they, are the boss of their brain. It's refreshing to witness the exploration of new and more positive thoughts, words, and actions. And it's the greatest joy to hear of the impact such simple tools can have in such a short time. It doesn't matter the language, color, shape, size, religion, culture, gender, or anything else, which might create the illusion that we are different. In moments like these, as I watched the new Gogi students delight in the joy of the Gogi Life Tools, I realize we are all one. We are all part of a larger family of mankind each searching for ways to bring meaning and find purpose for the short number of days we call this earth our home. It's quite an adventure sharing the Gogi Life Tools with individuals seeking ways to help nudge our world along in a positive direction. My days in Africa were reaffirming for sure. The youth of Africa have in their hands the future of an emerging continent. And if enough of them find their purpose, determine their meaning, and live lives of service, Africa just might become a continent that models the best of all mankind has to offer. Through learning and then sharing the Gogi Life Tools is a daily act of service. Each member of the greater human community can feel that love, getting out of their self-made limitations by looking inward for the solutions, getting out by going in. We are Gogi, and we know a tender and loving earth awaits. Please join us.